Alright, hello boys and girls, moms and dads, welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. This is 5th grade Bible reading. Alright, so today we're going to be doing week number 21, aspect of the curriculum, and we are going to read through Luke chapter 19 today. Alright, so Luke chapter 19 is what we are going to be doing. So please go ahead and get a copy of your Bible and turn to Luke chapter 19. Um, we are going to read together so you are going to be reading along with us and then right afterwards you're going to turn to your workbook so we can study Luke chapter 19 together we're going to understand the different sections of this chapter of the Bible uh, different verses the, that those sections actually cover and then answer a couple of questions so that we can remember what we've just read All right. so get your Bible and let us read from Luke chapter 19 Luke chapter 19 Then Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Now behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus who was a chief tax collector, and he was rich. And he sought to see who Jesus was, but could not because of the crowd, for he was of short stature. So he ran ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was going to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up a and saw him, and said to him, Zacchaeus, be make haste and come down, for today I must stay at your house. So he made haste and came down, and received him joyfully. But when they saw it, they all complained, saying, he has gone to be a guest with a man who is a sinner. Then Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I give half of my goods to the poor, and if I have taken anything from anyone by false accusation, I restore fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because he also is a son of Abraham, for the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Now as they heard these things, he spoke another parable, because he was near Jerusalem and because they thought the kingdom of God would appear immediately. Therefore he said, A certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. So he called ten of his servants, delivered to them ten minas, and said to them, Do business till I come. But his citizens hated him, and sent a delegation after him, saying, We will not have this man to reign over us. And so it was that when he returned, having received the kingdom, he then commanded these servants, to whom he had given the money, to be called to him, that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. Then came the first, saying, Master, your mina has earned ten minas. And he said to him, Well done, good servant, because you were faithful in a very little, have authority over ten cities. And the second came, saying, Master, your mina has earned five minas. Nineteen likewise he said to him, You also be over five cities. Then another came, saying, Master, here is your mina, which I have kept put away in a handkerchief. For I feared you, because you are an austere man. You collect what you did not deposit, and reap what you did not sow and he said to him, Out of your own mouth I will judge you, you wicked servant. You knew that I was an austere man, collecting what I did not deposit and reaping what I did not sow why then did you not put my money in the bank, that at my coming I might have collected it with interest. And he said to those who stood by, Take the mina from him, and give it to him who has ten minas. 
But they said to him, Master, he has ten minas. For I say to you, that to everyone who has will be given, and from him who does not have, even what he has will be taken away from him. But bring here those enemies of mine, who did not want me to reign over them, and slay them before me. When he had said this, he went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. And it came to pass, when he drew near to Bethphage and Bethany, at the mountain called Olivet, that he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go into the village opposite you, where as you enter you will find a cold tide, on which no one has ever sat. Loose it and bring it here. And if anyone asks you, Why are you loosing it? Thus you shall say to him, Because the Lord has need of it. So those who were sent went their way and found it just as he had said to them. But as they were loosing the colt, the owners of it said to them, Why are you loosing the colt? And they said, The Lord has need of him. Then they brought him to Jesus. And they threw their own clothes on the colt, and they set Jesus on him. And as he went, many spread their clothes on the road. Then, as he was now drawing near the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. And some of the Pharisees called to him from the crowd, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. But he answered and said to them, I tell you that if these should keep silent, the stones would immediately cry out. Now as he drew near, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, If you had known, even you, especially in this your day, the things that make for your peace. But now they are hidden from your eyes. Four days will come upon you when your enemies will build an embankment around you, surround you, and close you in on every side, and level you, and your children within you, to the ground, and they will not leave in you one stone upon another, because you did not know the time of your visitation. Then he went into the temple and began to drive out those who each bought and sold in it, saying to them, It is written, My house is a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. And he was teaching daily in the temple. But the chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people sought to destroy him, and were unable to do anything, for all the people were very attentive to hear him. All right, I believe you got a chance to read through Luke chapter 19 with us. So please go ahead and open your workbook over to page number 51. All right, so on page number 51, you can see that Luke chapter 19 may be actually sectioned into uh, five major parts. So this is going to be Luke chapter 19. So section 1 is going to be from verse 1 to verse 10. Section 2 is going to be from verse 11 to verse 27. Section 3 is going to be from verse 28 to verse 40. Section 4 is going to be from verse 41 to verse 44. And then section 5 is going to be from verse 40, 45 actually to verse 48. All right. So in section 1, Jesus talks about how he sees a man called Zacchaeus. Jesus was uh, journeying and a man Zacchaeus who was a tax collector wanted to see Jesus and he runs ahead of Jesus climbs into a tree because it was a short man and he couldn't see Jesus like that so he wanted to get he wanted to get a good view of Jesus and when he gets over there and then Jesus was passing by to his amazement Jesus stops the Holy Spirit prompted Jesus to stop and look up a tree and he sees a man in the tree. 
says Zacchaeus, come down right now because I'm going to spend my time in your home tonight. Oh wow, Zacchaeus was elated. So he comes down, he invites Jesus to be his guest, and Jesus goes over to be his guest. Uh, but then the Pharisees and some teachers of the law were not happy about that because Jesus went to be a guest of sinners. Well, and then Jesus tells them that, well, I came to seek and save the lost. This Zacchaeus over there is repented. I don't, I don't care if he was a sinner before, but right now he deserves to be saved as well. So that's section one. Now section two talks about the parable of the minus. Okay, that's going to be from verse 11 to verse 27. Jesus talked about how there were three servants. One was given ten minus or minus. The second one was given five. And the third one was given one. The person who had ten talents went and traded with it. And then he got ten more. The second one who had five traded with his five talents and he got five more. The third servant, unfortunately, didn't trade with it. So when the master returned, uh, he was pleased with the first two servants, but then the third servant came around and says, well, here's your one rotten, rotten talent. I didn't do anything with it. The master was absolutely disgusted, and he took the talent away from the last uh, ungrateful, unworthy servant, gives it over, gave it over to the first servant who had ten talents. So that lets us know that God expects us to use our gifts and talents for his glory. All right. Um, section number three is going to be how Jesus enters Jerusalem um, on a colt. That's a small donkey. Uh, so he sends uh, two of his disciples over to go get him the finest means of transportation because he was trying to let people know at the temple that my way works. And if they see financial success, they are going to want to be motivated and want to listen to Jesus. Because the very next day, he's going to come back and whip them out of the temple. He's going to cleanse that temple. <laughs> then section number four, that's how Jesus starts to weep over Jerusalem. He looked at the city and he saw that how this people, these people wouldn't repent of their sins. And because of that, Jesus starts to weep and cry over Jerusalem. But then in section five, which is going to be from verse 45 to verse 48, he gets, he gets into the temple area. And he starts to drive people out of the temple because they were selling merchandise. They were selling goods and services in the temple. While the temple was meant to be a house of prayer, Jesus was not impressed with people turning God's house into a marketplace. And he kicks them out of the temple and turns their tables over. And then people came and they were healed. They listened to the words of Jesus. All right, so that's chapter 19 for you. Let's go ahead and answer a few questions right now. Question number one, who was Zacchaeus? What impressed Jesus about him? Why was he called a sinner? Well, those are three questions all packed into one. So the first question you are going to answer is Zacchaeus was a man, was a tax collector, who wanted to get a good view of Jesus? That's the first answer. What impressed Jesus about him? What impressed Jesus about him was he was so desperate that he climbed up a tree just to get a view of Jesus. And when Jesus gets his attention, or when he gets Jesus' attention, he repented of his sins. That impressed the master so much. Question number three. Why was he called a sinner? Well, he was called a sinner because he was, he was a tax collector. And tax collectors back during the time of Jesus were really bad people. They're going to tell lies and cheat people and steal their money away from them. That's the reason they were called sinners. Okay, so you're welcome to document those answers that I just talked about right now using your own words in this particular part of, the, of your workbook or in a separate notebook. All right. Question number two, from the story of the ten talents, what does God expect us expect of us concerning the gifts that He gave us? All right. From that story of the ten minas or minas, what God expects of us is to use our talents to give Him glory. 
grow your talents to give him glory now your talents are going to be something good that God's placed on, on the inside of you not something to do evil things with it's going to be something good and noble that you really want to do that God's placed in you and you pray about you pray about it God says yes I want you to do this for humanity you start to do it it's going to grow and become bigger to the praise of God's glory and to the blessing of humanity God wants you to use your talents for his glory all right so that's gonna be question number two over there so please go ahead and take advantage of page number 51 or 52 so you can retain this information a little bit better uh, so that's what I got for you today boys and girls remember God cares about you and so do we bye bye I'll be your hero's body and as you study with heroes born